Nearly a year into the coronavirus pandemic and trends of the United States' worst spike are solidly on the decline. The COVID tracking project putting the seven-day average of cases near 90,000 for the first time since early November. Within the next few weeks, we'll see substantial decreases in deaths in nursing homes and people over 65. And that is an impact of the vaccines kicking in. In Denver, teachers getting their first vaccines over the weekend. It took all of 10 seconds. In all, the U.S. administering about a million and a half shots per day, an increase from weeks past, but likely far short of what's needed for herd immunity this year. The Biden administration promising it will start shipping 11 million doses every week, beginning now. We really need to do the hard work to make sure that there's universal masking, there's uh, strict six feet of distancing. As vaccines show up at major pharmacy chains and mass vaccination sites, states have more capacity than they do shots. A site in San Francisco had to pause operations until supply catches up. And in Florida, a vaccination site at a Publix is reducing appointments. I noticed I live in Martin County. Back on Friday the 5th, there were 1,400. And uh, on Monday the 9th, there were 700. According to the CDC, 38 million Americans have received at least one shot. 14 million are fully vaccinated. The rollout facing not just a speed challenge, but an equity challenge. The Latino community I felt that, you know, a lot of the information came last to them. That's why we stepped in, you know, and essentially became like the 2 one one of, of the Latino community. Roberto Alcantar working to connect eligible Latinos near San Diego to vaccination sites. Okay, it was really hard to get, uh, you know, to get online to make the appointment. You know, I try and try. A reminder of the work ahead, even as the numbers show promise. We've had three surges. Whether or not we have a fourth surge, is up to us, and the stakes couldn't be higher. James Packard, Newsy, Chicago.